Hey guys, today I am going to talk about collecting Pokemon and why it feels so much more fun than collecting magic cards, especially the newer magic cards. Now, Pokemon, if you don't remember, they only have like one booster type. So even though they have different sets, which some of these sets are more expensive, like 151, they're supposedly more exclusive. You have a set price, essentially MSRP per pack. Now, again, Pokemon people, there are lots of resellers. There's a lot of, I'm just talking about like from your local game store, they only have one pack. In Magic, it's very confusing to me because I'm an old timer. I'm used to, and I'm going to talk about this in my other collection for foils. I am an old timer. I'm used to having two types of cards, maybe three if you count the pre-release. Uh, foil, non-foil, and, you know, basically the pre-release card, right? That's what I grew up with, and now all these are the shiny variants, all these secret layers. They make me a little dizzy, and from a store perspective, they're very hard to code in um, or identify for a newer employee. Um, and mispricing a card is m pretty devastating now. It can make a massive difference, right? So Pokemon, I'm going to show off the collection a little bit. Um, and these are cards that we have all pulled. Uh, my girlfriend and I, we pull cards. Uh, we have some videos on this channel. We had a Pokey channel, but yeah, we got rid of that channel. And um, these are all cards that we pulled. We don't particularly trade, so we're not the couple who go to conventions. We did get invited to TCG Con. We were going to go. I was going to bring this binder, and then we were going to try to um, trade up for a Lily. So there are Lilies. I actually did not know this until maybe four days ago, but there's a Chinese lily with the same artwork that is way cheaper. Uh, so we, at this moment in time, my girlfriend is 33 weeks pregnant and we are between the name Farina from Genshin Impact and Lily spelled the same way as Lily. So I thought it would be kind of cool if we could collect, you know, or I could collect um, a hundred lilies, right? Um, and obviously you want the, the the best art. Also, back in the day when I was buying these packs of Team Up, Fusion, Union, whatever these packs were called, um, Burning Shadows, uh, I, you can see there's a lot of Burning Shadows. Like this is a lot of Burning Shadows and I do have two Charizard. So it was, you know, unfortunately, you know, you get four mucks, you get three Machamps, you get two Persians. You kind of want them to be Charizards, right? You want the four one to be Charizard, but that was not to be. I don't know, like four in the Crow's mods, right? He's big in Pokemon Go Fest now, so I think maybe the price has gone up. I, I have no idea. But in my day, the Rainbow Rare was all that people wanted. And the regular foil didn't have any price. So like even trainers, you didn't want the ones with the uh, colors, right? You wanted the Rainbow Rare because that one was considered the most rare and most beautiful. In a very, and I think in terms of like you put them together, it's very appealing. You no, know, like page after page of rainbow. So these are my rainbow Pokemon. I have another binder where I have rainbow trainers. I put all my rainbow trainers, the Marnies and uh, so on. Big fan of Marnie. Uh, and then here are the Espeons. Here's a slightly the Gyaradoses, the Pikachu, the Mewtwo, the Esp the So Gario. Uh, and so probably, like, again, like this type of stuff wasn't very valuable until after the pandemic. So I was able to collect and enjoy this game as a hobby. Magic the Gathering, I always in the back of my mind believed it was like some type of investment. And that was wrong. So I will fully admit when I'm wrong, that was wrong. And Pokemon, like I remember the Glaceon was the full art was like a two dollar card. I was like, okay, just give me the Glaceons, right? So I have pages and pages of full art cards that you know I bought for two dollars, three dollars, just help. And at that time, you know, I was helping my local game store because they couldn't sell for the uh, Glacey. And oh, I remember like, here's a beautiful Lucimi, and then here's the Lily I'm talking about, which comes in Chinese. You know, my girlfriend's Chinese from China. I am Chinese, so I thought. You know, you're going to see in the mail day, I'm just going to accumulate as many lilies as I can get. And so we're not 100% on the name. Um, it depends. We're going to kind of leave it to chance in our Farina summoning, which is happening soon. 
for Genshin Impact. So depending on how many Farinas we can get, uh, my Farina is a C2. I probably need to see a C4 before I feel like, or yeah. So two, and that's not easy in Genshin. Uh, PD will just destroy you, right? Maybe that's probably a little crazy. Maybe a C3, I don't know. Oh, also, interestingly enough, right? Because I own a Pokemon store. I used to open this shit all the time. Like, people don't understand. Like, this came in, like, a theme deck or something. Or, like, one of those, you know, theme packs. Like, Pokemon, I have so many more interesting stories to tell. I mean, Magic, I have a lot of stories to tell about. Like, buyers, like, penny pinching and stuff. But Pokemon, things are, like, so cheap. Like, you don't even argue. It's like, okay, I like Glaceon. Get two box here. Give me the Glaceon. And uh, my, my local game store... Uh, so before I owned a store, he would beg me to buy his Pokemon Full Arts. And, and we're talking about like maybe one-tenth the price. And um, I bought a ton of this stuff from him. And now to find out, like I think this box was only $20. And it came with a promo. It came with some packs. I forget what packs they were. And I have tins. I have Gengar tins that are now selling for $80 I bought for 10 And that was, a, that was like a high price at the time. And they have uh, this thing called Legendary Treasures in it, which itself is an $80 pack. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty interesting. Now, Charizard, uh, that's kind of what we've been pulling. If you watch this channel for Pokemon and we, do, we did live streams, we're always pulling the Charizard, right? We're always pulling the... Um, we pulled, I think, these two on camera together. Uh, I don't I pulled this on camera. I think I pulled this one too, but it might have been on the channel. But... Yeah, like this thing, obviously, you know, you, you buy this thing for $20, and now the Charizard itself is more than $20. Oh, this is a beautiful Charizard, by the way. I think it's like a CD promo. It's a really beautiful Charizard. Um, did I show you the front of it? Yeah, I think I, I did. Did I show you the trainers in the front? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Who cares? Yeah, but Charizard, he's the big baddie, right? Uh, these were very hard to pull. I think this Flash Fire and then something else. But there's nothing like the original Charizard, in my opinion. That's the card I grew up with. That's the card everyone grew up with. And that's why I went pretty hard in Evolutions. If you've seen this channel, I've opened a shit ton of Evolutions. They were uh, $40 a booster box. And then one day I woke up and they were like 500 And I was like, nah, I'm just going to open them all. And that was a fun thing. And these are the reverses, the hollows. And I still think it's one of the best cards. This is a really cool uh, set of uh, the starters. And I actually met my girlfriend, and now um, we're going to have a daughter together playing Pokemon Go at Fennekin Day. So it's actually our anniversary. We just celebrated it. And so Pokemon has a, you know, a lot more meaning, I guess, in my life than Magic does, unfortunately, because I did meet my significant other. If you're Pokemon, still be on. Beautiful card. You know, it was like five bucks at the time, and store owner couldn't get rid of it. Like a lot of this stuff, like a $4 Venusaur, and now it's worth more, like a $2 Tyranitar. Like this guy was like $10 at one time. Uh, and then obviously we opened a lot of new stuff too, but we try to open vintage packs uh, mostly. There's the, here's the alt arts. There's the KFC one. Uh, here's uh, the ones that I've opened. Um, I used to sell these for like nothing. I had no idea. Uh, and I don't think anyone did that they would be the price that they are currently today. Um, also, those are Charizards. Like, those full arts were not expensive. Like, this, you know, the Dragon Knight and the Rayquaza V. The Rayquaza V is a very pretty card, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it's just been fun collecting. Like, it's, I think it has a lot more meaning because of, uh, I've been able to do this with my girlfriend together as opposed to my magic collection she just doesn't have any interest in. Hi, <laughs> guys.